The Bell APT is a cool military tool. It can do many things because it's like a Lego set for different jobs. Need to give soldiers ammo, food, or medical stuff. APT can do it. It takes off and lands straight up, so no need for big runways. That means it can go to faraway places quickly, even where regular planes can't. It flies fast like a plane, making deliveries speedy and covering lots of ground. And guess what? It's like a robot, so no humans have to be in danger. For the army, it helps with quick deliveries, picking up hurt soldiers, spying from up high, messing with enemy talk, and guiding bombs to the right spots. Even though it's still getting better, the APT is already turning heads in the military world for being super useful. The Raytheon Intelligence and Space High Energy Laser Weapon System, HELWS, is a super strong laser gun used by the U.S. Air Force since 2019. It shoots a powerful beam of light to smash things like small drones and rockets, like a super zapper from far away. Hells is like a superhero, guarding important places on land, in the air, or at sea, like bases and airports. It's cooler than regular weapons because it hits exactly where it's aimed, causing less mess. It's also faster and doesn't run out of ammo as long as it has power. Hells is still getting better, and Raytheon is always making it more awesome. But, some people worry about using laser weapons because of possible problems and starting a big weapons competition. Times the speed of sound, Mach 4. This speed helps it catch fast planes and helicopters. What's cool is it uses a laser, not heat, to find targets, making it tough to dodge. After launching, it shoots out three tungsten darts, each hitting hard. This missile is versatile too, coming in portable and vehicle versions, fitting different situations on the battlefield. STAR streak isn't just impressive in theory, it's proven its worth by helping Ukraine defend against Russian planes. It's a fast, smart, and powerful defender in the sky. STAR Streak is an amazing missile for short-range air defense. It's super fast, zooming at more than four. The Leguan, known as the German Beast, is an impressive bridge builder on the Leopard 2 tank chassis. It sets up a 26M bridge in six minutes, crucial for fast military moves across rivers or damaged bridges. The bridge handles heavy loads, supporting tanks and armored vehicles. Besides bridge work, Leguan acts as a bulldozer, clearing obstacles with its strong hydraulics. Its modular design allows quick fixes in the field. With Leopard 2's armor, Leguan survives enemy fire, ensuring safety for the crew. This German beast has boosted the Bundeswehr's battlefield abilities, gaining international interest for its speed, adaptability, and toughness. A symbol of German innovation, the Leguan excels in overcoming obstacles for military success. The use of AI in the U.S. military is just beginning but has potential to transform battles. Currently, AI aids soldiers by analyzing data from drones and sensors in real time, identifying enemies, dangers, and escape routes. It enhances target identification and tracking, crucial for accurate hits and avoiding mistakes. AI optimizes logistics, predicts enemy movements, and plans effective routes, improving efficiency and safety. Looking ahead, AI could control drones and robots, reducing risks for human soldiers. It might offer real-time advice during battles, diagnose injuries, and monitor soldiers' mental health. Integrating AI into the military is exciting for enhancing effectiveness, but careful consideration of ethical and technical challenges is essential. The Ship to Shore Connector, SSC, also known as LCAC-100 class, is a major upgrade for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. 
It's stronger, faster, and more reliable than its predecessor, the LCAC. Carrying 70 tons of cargo or 180 troops, the SSC is versatile for different missions. With improved engines, it boasts better speed, maneuverability, and range. The air cushion design lets it smoothly glide over water and land, aided by lift fans and water jets. Equipped with advanced navigation and communication systems, the SSC ensures safe operations. Achieving initial operational capability in 2023, it's set to replace 73 old LCACs, marking a significant advancement in amphibious warfare technology for the U.S. military. The MUT, created by General Dynamics, is a smart robot to help soldiers in battles. The U.S. Army likes it for the small multipurpose equipment transport program. MUT is strong, carrying heavy loads up to 500 kilograms, making it easier for soldiers. It can go anywhere, like rough lands or water. Soldiers control it with a remote, a string, or let it move alone for some jobs. MUT wears different hats, carrying weapons, medical stuff, or being a communication hub. In the future, it might do more cool things like bringing supplies alone or stopping drones. For soldiers, MUT means less tiredness, more safety, and better understanding of what's happening around them, making it super helpful in battles. The Next Generation Squad Weapon NGSW, program is a plan by the U.S. Army to get new guns and bullets, replacing old ones like the M4 Carbine and M249 Machine Gun. They want these new weapons to be better, making squads stronger and more accurate. They are making a new kind of bullet, 6.8 millimeters in size, for both rifles and machine guns. SIG Sauer is now making the new XM7 rifle and XM250 machine gun under this plan. These guns use the fresh 6.8mm bullet, and the U.S. Army is testing them. These new weapons are designed well, easy to change, and have smart systems for aiming. Using the same 6.8mm bullet makes things simpler for soldiers, and this program is a big step to give U.S. soldiers an advantage in battles. The CV-90 Armadillo, created by BAE Systems Haglands, is an impressive armored vehicle for many jobs. It's built strong and can do things like carrying soldiers, being a mobile command center, bringing supplies, rescuing wounded soldiers, and helping with vehicle recovery. The Armadillo is flexible because it can quickly change its setup for different tasks. It keeps its crew safe with heavy protection against different kinds of attacks. Powered by a strong Scania DI-16 engine, it moves well on tough ground. Some versions even have a machine gun for extra power. BAE Systems is still making it better, thinking about upgrades like smarter sensors, automatic defenses, and using small drones for watching. The CV-90 Armadillo is a tough, adaptable, and well-protected vehicle that can do many important things for today's military. The Bell 360 Invictus is an exciting advancement in attack helicopters, and I'd love to share more details with you. This futuristic combat aircraft is designed with a tandem cockpit, retractable landing gear, and four large rotor blades for enhanced speed, maneuverability, and stealth. Geared for reconnaissance and attack missions, it packs a 20mm cannon, adaptable weaponry, and advanced sensors for better awareness. The Invictus is a participant in the U.S. Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft FARA, program, competing against contenders like the Sikorsky Raider X, currently in the development stage since its first flights in 2019. Its potential adoption by the U.S. Army hinges on its performance in the FARA program. The captivating scene of massive bladders filled with JP-8 jet fuel is not just eye-catching, it's vital for keeping U.S. military aircraft ready worldwide. These bladders, unlike traditional tanks, are flexible, 
quickly deployable and transportable by truck, plane, or ship, adapting to changing locations. Built tough, they resist punctures and harsh conditions. The filling process involves transporting jet fuel to the site, using specialized pumps, and following strict safety measures. These bladders play key roles in supplying fuel to aircraft in remote bases, aiding disaster relief, simulating refueling in training, and swiftly setting up temporary fuel storage during emergencies. The RQ-16AT Hawk, a small yet robust drone, has a noteworthy history as one of Honeywell's early practical micro-UAVs. Weighing around 8.4 kilograms, it's designed for backpack deployment and single-person operation. Using duct fan technology, it achieves vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, eliminating the need for runways. Its primary role is intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, on the battlefield, providing real-time information on troop movements, terrain, and potential threats. Beyond the military, the T-Hawk has found applications in disaster relief and infrastructure inspection. Despite its limited range, payload, and susceptibility to weather conditions, the T-Hawk's historical significance and versatility make it a valuable asset for various intelligence gathering tasks in military and civilian contexts. The T-7 multi-mission robot stands out in Explosive Ordnance Disposal EOD, missions with its advanced features and rugged build, making a significant impact in both pre-detonation and detonation phases. During reconnaissance, it approaches suspicious objects, deploys a high-resolution camera, and transmits real-time data to the EOD team, ensuring a safe distance assessment of potential threats. The T-7 can gently disrupt triggers with its manipulator arm, act as a shield against blasts, and remotely trigger detonations if necessary. Its post-blast capabilities include assessing damage and identifying remnants, offering improved situational awareness, reduced risk to personnel, increased efficiency, and versatility in hazardous environments. The T-7 is a transformative tool enhancing EOD operations by protecting lives and effectively handling threats. The ARCT, or Anti-Tank Remote Control Turret, stands as a potent weapon designed for armored vehicle combat. Tailored specifically for anti-tank roles, it boasts advanced armor, remote operation capabilities, and dual missile compatibility with Cornet E and Amta's missiles. Operated from a secure distance, the ARCT minimizes exposure to enemy fire, ensuring mission success. Its 360 degrees traverse, coaxial machine gun, and digital fire control system maximize flexibility and accuracy. Suitable for fortified positions, light vehicles, and urban warfare, the ARCT, produced by FNSS, is a game-changer in anti-tank warfare, offering militaries a decisive edge with its firepower, survivability, and adaptability. Adopted by countries like Turkey, Jordan, and Azerbaijan, ongoing development aims to enhance its capabilities further. The Wilder, an ultralight armored vehicle, weighs around 4.5 tons, providing exceptional agility in challenging terrains and urban settings. With a modular design, it adapts swiftly to various mission needs, incorporating additional armor, weapons, or sensors. Despite its light weight, the Wilder offers Stanek 4569 Level 2 ballistic protection and achieves higher levels through modularity. Its 4x4 all-wheel drive with locking differentials ensures stability on diverse terrains. Featuring a remote weapon station, RWS, and internal comfort for a four-man crew, it excels in reconnaissance, patrols, urban warfare, and rapid deployment scenarios. As a versatile military asset, the Wilder combines agility, protection, and firepower, enhancing operational flexibility for modern military applications. <music>